एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब क्लास आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑफ एज योर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू गाइड यू अबाउट हाउ टू मैनेज एंड कौन फिगर एज योर वर्चुअल मशीन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट आवर प्रीवियस सेशन सो इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस how to create virtual machine how many method we have to create virtual machine or purchase virtual machine from azure portal like on demand dedicated reservation and vmss we are trying to understand about each and every options which is available in vms properties so in this session i'll guide you properly with the help of uh, practical and also give you the complete information about the theoretical part as well so let's move ourselves to azure portal and uh, try to understand about the options which is available in our azure virtual machines properties so let's move ourselves to desktop screen and try to understand about the procedure now we are on page of our uh, azure portal and our responsibility to understand about the features or options which is available in our azure virtual machines properties so i'm just going to open the virtual machines property let me explain you about some important options those options can help you to manage and maintain the virtual machine services like as uh the first option is related to the overview in overview we are able to find connect that help us to connect our virtual machine we have a three different way rdp ssh bastion by using these three different option we are able to connect our virtual machines rdp restart stop capture so as per the name suggests restart if you want to restart your computer if you want to re reboot your computer we just need to click here and it will be reboot your virtual machine basically stop virtual machine in the sense if you don't want to use if you want to don't want to take the rdp of your virtual machine you want to shut down your computer we just need to click on stop button it will be stop or shut down your virtual machine capture as per the name suggests the meaning of capture if you want to create a template uh, of your virtual machine and using the template you want to create n number of vms then capture option can help us i'll help you how to use the capture delete refresh open in mobile so microsoft added new feature open in mobile so if you want to access the rdp of your virtual machine you just need to download this particular app on your mobile phone by using this particular option you can connect your virtual machine on your mobile cli and ps so cli is a command line interface and another is powershell if you want to make some changes in our virtual machine using cli or powershell so you just need to click here this is the basic information about the overview it can also help you the status of your virtual machine about the resource group name location about resource uh, sorry the location of your virtual machine and also you can find the subscription that you are using public ip address available dns available private information in the properties we are able to find the configuration like as a ram cpu number of hard disk which is connected with your computer so this is the basic information that help us to identify our virtual machines now another important point networking so i'm just going to guide you about the options which is available in networking whenever we click on the network part it give us option of inbound and outbound i think we have already discussed about it the inbound and outbound let me explain you one more time as per the name suggests the meaning of inbound or outbound it can help you to manage the signals or you can say that uh connection from inbound to outbound azure ag104 this is our certification name that we are planning to uh complete in the, by with the help of this particular series and we are trying to understand about the features of virtual machine For example this is our azure vm and as we discussed azure virtual machine contain two important services one is inbound and another is outbound as per the name suggest inbound and outbound both are a part of nsg which is considered as a network security group each and every ports contain up to each and every types contain 65535 logical ports in inbound 65535 logical ports in outbound right 
so it's our responsibility we should know about the usage of inbound and outbound the meaning of inbound is basically for example you establish rdp you configured ssh or maybe iis service so what you need to do the meaning of rdp if you want to access the virtual machines uh, rdp from outside this is our base machine this is our base laptop and you want to access your virtual machines rdp with the help of outside of machines you must need to activate 3389 and 22 port number in our inbound means if you want to distribute the services from your computer or from your virtual machine to outside which is considered as a rdp now which is considered as a inbound the meaning of outbound for example you establish sql this is sql server and sql logical ports is 1433 if you want right you want to access the sql ser uh, server which is available on on premises you want to access the services through your virtual machine then you must need to configure outbound this is the actual meaning of inbound and outbound let me proceed and guide you about the another option so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take the rdp of this virtual machine select rdp download the rdp tool and take the rdp means uh, provide the user id and password to access your virtual machine now we successfully connected our virtual machine that we created over azure portal so what i'm going to do another important points related to the virtual machines property we are able to find the disk if we talk about the default hard disk which is available in our virtual machine disk mgmt.msc it will redirect you on page of uh, hard drive so by default we are able to find disk 0 and disk 1 right disk 0 contain 127 gig of hard drive disk 1 contain up to 8 gig which is considered as a temporary right so as your microsoft never suggest you to put any data in temporary storage because the temporary storage responsible to contain the cache file or you can say that page file I'm just going to add a one data disk as per the name suggest as uh, per the request of client he want to uh, put our data in separate hard drive he don't want to upload the data in C drive so we just need to open virtual machines property click disk create and attach new disk type the name of uh, your disk like I'm going to proceed with name of data disk how much you want to add I wanted to add up to 15 gig of space click save we successfully proceeded and uh, the hard drive is premium ssd wait for a few seconds updating to virtual machine and now we are able to find 115 gig of space successfully added in our virtual machine i'm just going to proceed right click click new simple volume next 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 and finish we successfully added one additional hard drive which is considered as a data disk uh, with capacity of 15 point something uh, 14 point uh, something approximately 15 gig you are able to upload any data in this particular drive right as it is we need to understand about the configuration which is considered as a sizing let's talk about the options which is available in azure virtual machines properties so another important option is size so as for the name suggest another options which is available in our azure virtual machines properties is size right so whenever we click on the size option it will redirect you on page of the configuration with the help of this particular option you can increase or decrease the hardware configuration of your virtual machine if we talk about current configuration so 4 gig of ram and up to 2 core of processor which is contained by our virtual machine 
if you want to increase the ram capacity so what you need to do you just need to open size select the configuration that you want to uh, means uh, modify you just need to click here and click resize once you click the resize it will take up to 30 to 40 seconds your virtual machine will be reconnect again through the rdp because required a reset a restart and after that you will get a same configuration in your virtual machine next another important point is related to the logs which is really important because the backup option we will cover in next uh, next session the lock option can help us to lock our virtual machine from accidental deletion whenever we click on add it will give us option of lock I'm going to proceed with name of test. What you want to do? I'm going to configure log form for deletion. Click OK. We successfully created a log. Let me refresh the page, refresh the Azure portal and try to restart, try to uh, delete your virtual machine, right? So what I'm going to do, select our virtual machine and click overview. In our overview option, we are able to find one option, delete. Just need to click here and try to delete it. Select, I'm going to delete it. Failed to delete because you configured the lock for this particular VM. So not only for the virtual machine, the lock option, which is available in each and every resources of Azure portal. So, by using this particular option, we can protect our virtual machine or any resource from accidental deletion. So I hope you all of you understand about the options which is available in our virtual machines properties. We will also discuss more about like backup, disaster recovery up and update, but in next session. So we'll connect in next class basically and discuss more about the Azure services. So please do subscribe Teach Me Cloud, your own YouTube channel. Take care guys. Bye-bye.